Now it gets fun. Cause this is like, this is like the best of the best. And this is where we really start to separate. Cause you can, if you tell people you went to the sweet 16, then no one cares. <laughs> but if you say you were one game away from the final four, oh. it's a whole different thing, right? Oh my God. So now we're putting you in the one game away from the final four. Yeah. So starting off the top, as much as we want to continue to ride the Davidson. The Harley wave, Davidson? No. Oh, ah. that was sweet. That was sweet. <laughs> Thanks. We're going with Virginia for the many reasons that we discussed before. Well coached, well organized, crazy talent, hard playing, won't beat themselves. And on this one, we're going to go with Cincinnati. Yeah, Loyola, it's only a certain, like you can only go so far with being the upset. You know, all of a sudden now, you got time to prepare and see them and say like, all right, this is what we need to do to beat this team. There's a reason why you're at Loyola, but shout out to Loyola for making it that far. So just to recap, we have the one seed playing the two seed. Correct. So all the, the drama that happens through here, usually the cream rises to the top. That's just how it goes, right? And uh, like these two teams are, are good, good teams, teams, but we'll have to, uh, yep. we'll see. I, I went with my upsets to up to a certain point based off a lot of guard playing, shooting, motion offense, spreading the floor, but eventually talent, rebounding, depth all comes into play. Yeah. All right, let's move down to the West. We got Xavier versus Gonzaga. Gonzaga is going to beat Xavier because, once again, I, I, it, it's, it's really simple for me. They've won 16 games in a row. They're in a tough conference like St. Mary's, who didn't get in, which is another travesty that we can go off on. Yeah. They, I mean, they had to go through St. Mary's. Like People like, like think the West Coast Conference isn't good. It's actually a really good conference. It's good basketball there. And these guys can, like, Gonzaga is one of the hottest teams in, in America right now. So I'm putting them over Xavier. And down here, this? yeah, Michigan. Because Michigan. Got, yeah, Beeline. All right. great, great motion offense. Big that can shoot. Um, Coming to an NBA near you. What's it? Well, no, it is happening. The Golden <laughs> exactly. State Warriors play. It's almost a, a carbon yeah. copy to what Michigan does. You were an so. assistant coach there. I was. I was. It was good. We got to switch. Oh, switch again. Take Cheers. Drink. Cheers. Ooh. It's like a drinking game. <laughs> this is like the best drinking game ever. Like, we yeah. might have just invented the best yeah, like, drinking game. Do your game. bracket, switch. All right, Villanova wins, beats Murray State. Like I said before, you can only go so far with your lack of, you know, elite level talent. So big fan of Villanova. Jay Wright, one of the best coaches in college basketball. So I'm gonna go with Villanova. And then down here, I'm gonna keep riding the Butler train. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, okay. and like I said, no, no like rhyme or reason to that. It's just, if Brad ever found out that I picked against Butler, like I can lose my access. And you know, this business is all about access. Come on. That's why everyone's nice to LeBron, because they want to get him on the, the show, Mrs. Uh, Rachel Nichols. Not that I'm throwing <laughs> you under the bus, Mrs. Peanut Butter Jelly. Sorry. Okay. And then... Ooh, uh, Kansas, New Mexico State. So this is where I'm going to go with a little bit of like controversy. New Mexico State and their high scoring is going to beat Kansas. Because Kansas, what they want to do is run up and down the floor. Well, New Mexico State has the athletes to do that. And this is where an upset happens. Where you don't focus on the defensive end from a team standpoint, and you try to outscore everybody, what happens when you play a team that can score? These mm. guys will play with confidence. This is like one of the biggest upsets out there. New Mexico okay. State over Kansas. Uh, I think I already know what you're going to say. Yeah, I'm going Michigan State just because. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, and, and you know, like, like, like Duke is good this year. But come on. So, cheers. We have made it. To the, the best. final four. It's going to be an easy part because these are all good teams. And that now you, 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 you've had time to prepare. Yeah. You know, everyone knows everybody's weakness. Like that's, that's the thing. Now, can a certain coach outcoach another guy, do something odd? It's been done many times going back Utah versus Arizona, right? You can run the, uh, the diamond two and you can figure out a way. But in this situation... Uh, Tony Bennett, unbelievable. So I'm going Virginia to the final four. All right. And then down here, I'm going with Gonzaga. Gonzaga. Uh, so switch. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Now, this is where the drinking game starts to really <laughs> kick in. And as much as I, uh, and I don't think Brad Stevens will be mad at me, as much as I love Butler and like want to mm -hmm. work that, I got Villanova. Jay Wright's going to get it done. Villanova experienced, been there before. So Villanova beats Butler. I feel like these teams are always in the final four, like in the last 
10 years. It seems that way. It just seems like they're always there. Like, not Virginia. Yeah, no, they always, for every reason, falter some way. But yeah. I think that they're starting to get more talented guys. That's yeah. the difference now. Yeah. They These kind of two. overachieved, and now they're, like, expected to win. And then down here, I'm going to go with Michigan State. Hard to keep Izzo out again. As much as I like Michi uh, New Mexico State, like, Izzo is going to get it done. And it's like, when you, when you look at it, this is where... We should go back and look. Like, it feels like one of these teams, for sure these three, have been in the Final Four like for the last 10 oh, yeah. years. I actually remember in 2001, I went to Minnesota for the Final Four because Duke won that year. It was my senior year in high school, actually. So yeah, I had already my, committed. That was my year. Yeah, and I watched these guys play. Zach Randolph, yes. remember? Yes. Zebo. It's like, how is this guy going to make it in the NBA? This guy's still playing. It's insane. <laughs> he was so good. Yeah. All right, can we just stay over here? I'll take sure. I'll take Villanova over Michigan State. All right. So yeah, Villanova sure. over Michigan State, and you know, in the Final Four, it could go either way. But I always think like when you know it's it switches. Now it's in. They're gonna play at the Alamo Dome, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like, now you're in this big arena, curtain. It's just like it has such a different feel than like you know the the normal pro arena yeah. that sees twenty thousand. So. You know, I love the elevated court, all that stuff. Like, it all comes into play. But uh, Villanova, probably better guard play. Been there before. Good shooting. So Villanova beats Michigan State. All right. I can actually do, if you want. You can. We'll just stay here. Now I'm taking another here. drink. Whew. Well, in that case, we're switching. All right. So drink. <laughs> Cheers. See, I told you, this drink is a lot stronger. Your beloved yeah, Gonzaga. The Bulldogs versus, versus the, I Virginia. think, the best team in college basketball. Okay. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Were you going to write something down? I thought you were going with the best team in college basketball. No. Gonzaga upsets Virginia. <sighs> well, here's the reason why. Uh, hottest team in America. Okay. Well, Virginia's good. Don't get me wrong. Hottest team in America. Yeah. And when you watch how both these teams play, they're not going to get, like, sort of out-athlete or he's yeah. not going to, like like, outrun them or anything like that. It's hard to out-execute Gonzaga. Now, it's also hard to out-execute Virginia. I, I get it. But, like, Gonzaga usually loses to Kentucky, you mm -hmm. know, where it's just like, man, there's just too many athletes coming at you at, at rapid, rapid right. pace. So, I got Gonzaga beating Virginia. And I don't – it'll be interesting when it all said and done and these two do match up. I wonder if it really will be an upset. Like, when you watch Gonzaga through the tournament and you watch Virginia through the tournament – you know, that line might be a point and a half or something like that. So I just think it might not be as big of an upset as it sounds right now, a four seed versus a one. So I'm going to go with Gonzaga. Okay. National championship <laughs> game. This is purely emotional, right? I And I would hate to want to root for me being, like, right. So I'm going to go. Like, I, think I don't want to be right, so no, I'm going to make this choice. Like, I think Villanova is better. I do. And I think that Jay Wright and I think um, – uh, Jalen Brunson is, is a, like, they've been there before. It's like, it's important, but I want to root for Gonzaga and I want coach few to win. So I'm going to go Gonzaga national champion Whoa. over Villanova. Like I said, these are the first guys that ever offered me a scholarship. Like they believed in me when like division twos were, uh, I don't know if you're going to make it this team right here, this coaching staff, a lot of the guys that were there. So I, I just have like a special place in my heart for Gonzaga. And you are using this to guide your decision. No, no, no. I think they're good. <laughs> I think they're good. But at this point, okay. I'm using this. I mean, I actually think, like, this is a tricky one here. This one, to beat Xavier, that's going to be tough. No, no question. That's going to be really tough. And even to beat Michigan, that's nah, going to be tough. Michigan. Oh, that's nothing. They'll no, beat they'll beat Michigan. Michigan. I'm not worried. I'm worried more about Xavier than Michigan. Oh, yeah. So all this is, like, my mind, and then this game is my heart. All right, well, no food. <laughs> no food. Why am Strong I? Strong drinks. Wait. That's because you put, like, I know this is all tequila, and you put a splash of, of the LaCroix in there. This was tough. This was, this was strong. <laughs> the whole idea of it being nice and light and refreshing is not. I'm sorry. No, but, it, but it's fine. It's still delicious? Mm. Excellent. Still. Good. Okay, so hopefully you're 100% right and you've got like 
lightning in a bottle here. You know that that's not going to be the case. Hashtag white mamba madness. Um, and as for the drink, if you want a white mamba, head on down to West End Johnny's. This is going to be the new rosé. Just so you this know. This is what it's going to be? Bye bye rosé. Bye bye brosé. Hello, <laughs> white mamba. And right. with that... Cheers to hashtag cheers. white mamba madness. And for all you guys that know nothing about college basketball, this is like the bracket that you want to fill out. So all your answers are right here. Make a little Skrilla on the side by betting all these games. Because that's really what it's about, winning office pools and yeah. getting like, so just say, when you when you don't know, just go hashtag white, mom, uh, hashtag white mama madness, and you'll figure it out. Yep.